More and more automakers are announcing their efforts to bring their battery electric vehicle and their battery, battery manufacturing processes over onto North American soil. There has been lots of news lately of different partnerships and manufacturing plants opening up in North America to support the electric evolution. I love to see this kind of initiative because it just is a more and more pressure on closing the supply chain loop for electric vehicles. There is a lot of criticism of electric vehicles and how their batteries just continue to pollute. Maybe they're not even better than ICE vehicles in terms of their impact on the planet. But as we know, while these greenhouse gas emissions spike during the battery production times and the afterlife of EVs, it actually tends to be a lower impact on the environment. But creating, creating a closed loop supply chain in one continent does help to eliminate a lot of the greenhouse gas emissions that are produced when transporting different parts and materials for batteries that have to happen before you put them all together to create a battery pack to go into a battery electric vehicle. So I love to see this kind of this kind of initiative that we're going to talk about today. Thanks for tuning into the Out of Spec podcast. I'm your host, Francie. Let's dive in. So on October 4th, Toyota Motor North America and LG Energy Solution announced their long-term joint partnership to accelerate the growth of battery electric vehicles in the US. The two have inked a supply agreement for lithium ion battery modules, and these are bound for the innards of Toyota's American assembled battery electric vehicles. This is LG's largest single supply agreement that they have had. This is outside of any joint venture agreements that they've had in the past. LG supplies batteries to major automakers, and they have for a long time. This is nothing new for them, but it is a North American-focused effort. So LG has eight battery manufacturing facilities that are either currently operating and underway or under construction in North America, and they have apparently no plans to slow down this expansion in the region. Currently, Toyota's only battery electric vehicle, the BZ4X, is assembled in Japan. Additionally, their Lexus RZ450E is also manufactured in Japan. The batteries for each model are, what am I trying to say, not made or assembled in the U.S., which this obviously takes away from a lot of the opportunities that Toyota and Lexus drivers of these BEV models could be taking advantage of if there was more of an assembly line for these BEVs and their batteries in the U.S. Because as we know, the federal tax credit not only considers where the vatical, vatical, the battery and the vehicle are manufactured, but yeah, both of those. <laughs> so this move to bring the battery electric vehicle and the battery manufacturing to North American soil has the potential to open up and qualify for more incentives for those Toyota and Lexus customers who are interested in buying these battery electric vehicles. Toyota has larger EV plans as well. They have goals of offering 30 battery electric models across the world in both their Toyota and Lexus brands and producing up to 3.5 billion battery electric vehicles a year, all by 2030. Big lofty goals from Toyota here. So back to this specific agreement that I'm covering today. So LG will be supplying Toyota with 20 gigawatts hours of high nickel NCMA battery modules annually starting in 2025. These battery modules, like I said, are high nickel NCMA nickel, cobalt, manganese, and aluminum pouch type cells. LG has recently stressed their, of course, initiatives to enhance the performance and the overall quality of batteries, which is an ongoing effort, but specifically the thermal management and battery safety that they have for these specific batteries. The modules will be produced in LG's facility in Michigan, and they will be used to power the new BEV model produced at LG's, uh, produced at Toyota's North American assembly line in Kentucky. So they also say other models will be using this, you know, these battery modules supplied by LG, but they haven't referred to exactly which others, and they still didn't really get too specific with the BEV that is being manufactured in Kentucky, although we know based off of the announcement in May of this year that Toyota is producing their first uh, all-electric three-row SUV in that Kentucky facility, but we'll dive into this in a minute. They said that those batteries would be coming from their own manufacturing plant in North Carolina. So anyways, at the helm of this development, Ted Ogawa, president and CEO of Toyota Motor North America, has 
underscore Toyota's commitment to reducing carbon emissions as quickly as possible. He emphasized that it is very important to secure a substantial and dependable supply of lithium ion batteries to drive Tesla's growth in the battery electric market in North America. The partnership with LG Energy Solution promises to deliver products that meet the high performance and quality standards that Toyota customers expect. To make this happen, LG is supposed to invest about three billion US dollars into their Michigan facility to get these new production lines for battery cells and battery modules specifically for Toyota up and running. They are hoping to have that complete sometime in 2025. The process is supposed to go something like this. Manufacture the battery modules in Michigan, send the battery modules to Toyota Motor Manufacturing in Kentucky, where they are then assembled into battery packs and equipped onto battery electric vehicles made there. Not exactly sure, again, exactly which battery electric vehicles, because like I said, just this past May, Toyota had a little bit of different news. So the next Toyota EV, fully battery electric vehicle, was announced on May 31st, and they announced that Toyota Kentucky would lead the first U.S. assembly BEV from Toyota, that three-row SUV. Interestingly, like I said, according to Toyota in that press release, the battery electric SUV would be using batteries from the Toyota North Carolina battery manufacturing plant, which was set to begin battery production in 2025. So perhaps it will be, you know, a joint effort. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, that kind of thing. But uh, we'll see, of course, the efforts at, let's talk a little bit about this manufacturing plant in North Carolina. So Toyota announced that they had plans to invest $2.1 billion into that battery plant uh, back in May, which would be a uh, whole, a total investment into that plant of $5.9 billion so far. By 2025, Toyota said that this would be their 14th plant in North Carolina, well, their 14th plant that happens to be in North Carolina, and it would begin to manufacture batteries for all of their electrified vehicles. So not only their BEVs, but also their plug-in hybrid EVs. So the facility was is planned to be the hub for developing and producing Toyota's lithium ion batteries with six battery production lines, four for their hybrid electric vehicles and two for their battery electric vehicles. Toyota is bringing more and more of the supply chain an assembly line onto U.S. soil. It'll be really interesting to see how this all plays out, how the partnership with LG will factor into Toyota's already established or being established efforts to produce their own batteries on U.S. soil. Toyota directly employs more than 63,000 people in North America who have contributed to the design, engineering, and assembly of nearly 45 million cars and trucks at their 13 manufacturing plants. From their EV sales summary of this year that was released this year, Toyota has sold 6,486 of those BZ4Xs this year with a few sold last year, 235 in 2022. Those lower sales most certainly due to the fact that there was a stop sale and a recall due to the wheels having that issue of maybe falling off that was rectified after some time. And they also reported 2,511 of the Lexus RZ 450E BEVs that were sold this calendar year, 2023. So looking to see more from Toyota in this space, especially with a larger SUV, a lot of folks are wondering, you know, I want to switch over to EV, but I've got a family to tote around what on earth kind of EV could fit all of us. Um, and I think more and more effort to make family friendly cars, not just the sports vehicles that, yeah, sure, have a trunk and a frunk, but you know, families need a lot more room. So hopefully to see with that three row SUV from Toyota and other automakers, just more options for more folks who are really looking to go electric. So that is the news from Toyota and LG. We will continue to follow this to see how they combine their efforts and find harmony between what's already going on with Toyota in the US and then LG's, of course, expansive footprint in the space. And hopefully they can really leverage each other's, you know, strengths to find a nice balance here. So I'll continue to cover this topic as well as others. Of course, if you have any topics that you're interested in us covering, please email us or reach out to us on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in to the Out of Spec podcast, and I'll see you next time.